Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Simper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. This guy goes, I had a dream I got in a chop battle with Brian. That'd be a nightmare, buddy. We got a lot to get into here today, and uh, let's not waste any time. So, the prestigious WWE Hall of Fame this year. You know, there was a thread on our board, and I was arguing with these blokes about Eric Bischoff and the the Observer Hall of Fame, whether he should go into the Observer Hall of Fame. And these guys are going nuts and being all nutty and crazy. And then, like, 12 pages in, some guy goes, I don't think anyone here is talking about the Observer Hall of Fame. They're talking about the WWE Hall of Fame. And I literally had to go back to make sure that I was not arguing the wrong thing. And in fact, at about page five, somebody was arguing about the Observer Hall of Fame. But, I mean, the fact of the matter is, why would you need a 12-page thread about whether Eric Bischoff deserves to go in the WWE Hall of Fame? Of course he does. Who doesn't? This is our list here for the, the WWE Hall of Fame this year. Okay? And honestly, quite frankly, if I look at all of the... All of the names here that are going into the WWE Hall of Fame so far. I mean, Bischoff is probably the most deserving. Now, nothing against these other people, but we had Molly Holly, who was a good worker, who was there for a few years, and that was it. Eric Bischoff is going in, obviously. He helped kick off the Monday Night Wars and then killed dead a promotion that had been alive forever. Kane... Which, quite frankly, if you consider the WWE Hall of Fame, he would be the most deserving person to go in if you're just looking at solely WWE in their Hall of Fame because Kane debuted in 1997 and, you know, he'll probably be wrestling again at some point. So Kane's going in. The Great Kali is going into the, into the WWE Hall of Fame. And, hey, he's a former champion. And I don't think it's official or anything like that, but... Uh, according to Sabu on Twitter, he will be inducting Rob Van Dam into the WWE Hall of Fame. So congratulations to all of the inductees going into the Hall of Fame this year. Very happy for all of them. Now, as far as people who aren't going into the Hall of Fame, as I pretty much questioned from day one and thought it had to be a mistake... Daniel Bryan is not going into the WWE Hall of Fame because, in fact, exactly as I suspected from day one, it was a mistake. The advertising department, they screwed up somehow, and he ended up on the poster, and then everyone had all of these... I mean, listen, everybody. And the same thing goes for Charlotte, okay? I believe that the reason that Charlotte was taken off of the WrestleMania poster was merely because she came down with COVID... And when you come down with COVID, I mean, yeah, hopefully in two weeks you're better. But who even knows? Who knows how serious or not serious her case was? Who knows when she'll be back in action? I mean, there are legitimate, real-life great athletes. There are MMA fighters. MMA fighters in the peak of their career that came down with COVID, and it's like months and months later they're still not ready to come back yet. So I think that because of that, they took her off the poster. But you also have to realize, as we've said a thousand times, the social media department, the right hand doesn't always know what the left hand is doing. And so things happen, and sometimes people read way too much into things, and Daniel Bryan was never into, in consideration. He was never going into the WWE Hall of Fame. And there is no scandal with Charlotte. She might be back on SmackDown Friday. They might shoot an angle to insert her somewhere into WrestleMania. Or maybe they won't. I, I don't know. But don't read too much into things like that, especially when it's something that you merely saw, like the, the scoop is because of something that happened via the social media department. And finally, Dave Batista, he on Twitter said to the WWE Universe, unfortunately, due to previous obligations, I am unable to be a part of the Hall of Fame this year. By my request, they have agreed to induct me at a future ceremony where I will be able to properly thank the fans and people who made my career possible. Hashtag a dream chaser. So that's the update on the Hall of Fame as of right now. Any thoughts, Mike? Do you think he thanks Mark Jindrak? You think he thanks Cornette? <laughs> no. Actually, because he was always freezing cold, according to Cornette and OVW, and was always half miserable there. But maybe he thanks Devon Dudley, because I believe Devon is still there. And <laughs> Deacon we all forget Dave? About, we all forget about Deacon Dave, which was a... Uh, 
Hey, Devon Dudley had a great theme song, I thought, when they did that split. It was something different, but no, it, it didn't work. But when it comes to the posters, um, there's a long history of like somebody being on a poster who's not going to be on a show. You know what I mean? Like, I know in modern times it's a lot easier to get things to press faster and things like that, but there's been plenty of times with WWE where the poster just doesn't jive with what's taking place with the show, and I'm not sure if it's all that big deal, all of a big deal, unless I'm missing something where being on the WrestleMania poster is just as important as being on WrestleMania or something like that. So I don't know why this is such a, a big deal to people or why – any of these people going in would be a, a big deal to people. I don't know why this ever bothers for debate when it comes to the WWE Hall of Fame. It's a great way for those folks to get together and get some people a payday, get some people some recognition that have not had it in a long time. And it's just a look, it's a way to get together with choices that come directly out of Vince McMahon's brain. So I don't know why anybody gets too upset over that at all or why it's even, you know, a point for debate or, or even conversation every year. But the thing with Daniel Bryan for me is maybe they had an idea for that, that he's been doing agenting work and things like that. Is it possible it could have come up in conversation at some point that, hey, he could be added to this WrestleMania match and, and maybe you lose and we go on, we can induct you into the Hall of Fame, you know, all in one swoop and you get to your production duties full time? Is that within the realm of possibility that that was at least, uh, you know, brought up or, or thought of? No clue, dude. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.